shot selection is, is every coach talks about it. And sometimes passing up a shot is as selfish as taking a bad shot. So we've tried to get Jada to understand that concept. And, um, you know, overall, I don't think anyone can fault uh, the way she's playing. Bill, back to Jada. You've, you've spoken numerous times about how earlier in the year you wanted her to shoot more, and you just did. Was there like a light coming on moment in practice or a game prior to yesterday where you think that, you know, she may have gotten that? I don't know if there's one moment, but there's been a couple moments where she's passed up shots and there's been a lot of yelling and a lot of running. And, um, you know, I, and I've told her, you don't shoot when you're open, the whole team's going to run. Or, you know, something. It just, and and it, it, sometimes you do that. Sometimes it's you just got to explain to her why. And, and we tried to show her situations where she passed up a shot, she passed it to someone who's not a good a shooter, or we ended up making an extra pass that led to a turnover. And, and you know, I joke, sort of, that we want to shoot the ball before we throw it away. And, and she is a probably billboard for that saying for our team. She, you know, when she passes up an open shot, that's a mistake by her, and it puts us at risk. And, and she's starting to understand that. But when you're a freshman and you're playing with an All-American and two juniors that have played a lot, sometimes it's like, eh, maybe I, I'm a little freshman. I better throw it over here. And, you know, she's got to learn – the people that are playing, there's no sign above your head that says freshman. You have a number and, and it says Iowa State. You got to go play. And, and the, the more she learns that, the better she'll be and the better team, better team we can become, I think. You know, they play 10 players over 10 minutes a game. Uh, they played two kids in the game yesterday, hardly been playing at all, played 30 minutes. So it's kind of like, uh, I, you know, don't know. And I think the one thing you worry about with any new team, and we've been through it and every new coach does it, you're looking for a statement program building win, and and I'm sure that's what that's Tech's, what Tech's doing. They obviously they start out 0-2, um, you know. But for us, it, it is it's about the next game. That's the way we played it. I know that's boring. No one wants to hear that, but that's the way we have to be. Uh, as soon as we get ahead of ourselves, something bad's going to happen. And um, to come home and get a chance to play at home, um, we're excited about the opportunity. And, and you know, I think the challenge for us will be. Unlike a lot of teams, because we're so personnel and scouting driven, this would be one of those rare conference games where it's going to be a lot more about what we need to do uh, than what we can prevent Texas Tech from doing, because we really don't know who's going to play, except for Amber Battle. Amber yeah. Battle is an all Big 12 caliber player. Um, and Minta Spears, who we recruited out of high school, is a good guard for them. But other than that, it's hard to know what combination they're going to use. So we're going to focus a lot on us in the next two days.